Well, good morning, and today we're just going to do a bit of watering. I'm just going to have a look at uh, some paths, see if they're dry enough for watering, and uh, then I'm going to give them a feed. So we'll just test what this uh, RO water is to begin with. That's one parts per million. And then I'm just going to add some phosphogen and a bit of Epsom salts. I've just put in about uh, half a teaspoonful of uh, Epsom salt, so we'll just check it again and hope it's under 200. Yeah, it's 170 parts per million, that's beautiful. In fact, I might even just put a drop of uh, liquid seaweed in. Well, I've been having a bit of an attack of mealybug lately, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to water every plant and then I'm going to spray all over the plant with this uh, plant invigorator. It's. I'll just have a look at uh, one plant to see how dry it is, and this is a uh, Path Philippinense Super. So we'll just take it out of its pot, if I can do it with one hand. I can't, I'll just uh, switch the camera off and come back. Yeah, well I've taken it out of its pot and it's just at the point of becoming dry. So I'm just watering it at the right time and just have a look at the roots. Plenty and plenty of good roots, no bad roots and uh, only one new growing tip, so it is ready for watering, is this one. Well, just repotted it back up now, so uh, it's time to uh, water it and spray it for the bugs. So we'll just give this uh, Philip and Enzi a good watering, and, uh, and then we'll spray it with the... Uh, That bug killer. Now these are drying out very very quickly simply because I have them on the heated sand bed and uh, these were thoroughly watered sort of um, two days ago maybe three and uh, that's why they're drying out very quickly. Unless I just show you one or two plants, which I think I will. This is a uh, Lady Isabel, uh, cross between Stony Eye and Rothschildianum. Flowered this year, I think I put some flowers on the uh, on YouTube from it, but uh, these have also been on the hot sand bed, so they need watering well. And a spray with the uh, the bug killer. Make sure you go all over underneath the leaves. That's where the bugs, especially mealy bugs, collect. And uh, I've had a bad year for mealy bugs. That's that one. And I think I've spotted one with mealy bug on. Here it is. And this is Path Sanders Parish, cross between, uh, oh, what is it, Parishii and uh, Sandrianum. And you can see under there, I've just noticed. You see that? Mealybug. So we'll give that a good spray and after I've watered it.
then we'll wipe the mealy bug away. This is a nice little plant I've had for some time. It's a uh, Paphipedum Lorenzianum. And if you heard the little music then, that was my uh, mobile going off. Lovely two growth plant, looking very, very nice. Gets the same treatment, watered and sprayed with the, uh, the bug killer. Here's another Paphipedum that's growing very nicely. This is uh, Parishii cross Prystens. And uh, it's a nice uh, two growth plant, hasn't flowered yet, but uh, growing very, very nicely. Looking very, very good. And this is another uh, Prince Edward of York that's doing very, very nicely. It's a very, very good clone, this one. Uh, hasn't flowered yet, but uh, coming up with a nice leaf in the middle there and looking very, very nice. Prince Edward of York. Another quick update on the uh, Harold Cooperwitz. Growing very, very nicely now. Probably flower in the next uh, six or seven weeks, I should imagine. Uh, Paphia Pedalum Corolla Ordenauer. This is looking quite nice too. So I thought I'd just show you a few, and uh, I know people like looking at plants. They prefer looking at blooms, but I'm afraid they. I don't have any at the moment. Here's another uh, Philippinense, Robolini this one. You know, the one with the twisted petals. Nice big plant, growing very, very nicely. Nice new growth there in the middle. Quite a big plant too. Paphipedalum Philippinense, Robolini. Now this is doing something strange. It's a Paphipedalum Hangianum. And uh, instead of coming up with one small leaf, it's coming up with two. But I'm sure it's not uh, flowering, because uh, they will be much darker, those leaves, if it were flowering. So I'll just have to wait and see what happens to this one. Paphia pedalum hangianum. This other Paphia, paphia pedalum is uh, Paphia pedalum sandurianum. sandurianum. Crossed by Joanna Burkhardt. This is growing quite well too. Uh, I've checked them all for mealy bug again and they're fine. So uh, that should be flowering next year, I think. And that will be nice. Now this should be nice as well. This is Sandrianum, cross Rothschildianum, cross Anitum, which is like saying uh, Prince Edward of York, cross Anitum. And it's got one nice new growth there. And, uh, well, it flowered before, but the flower was awful, so uh, I'm just waiting for it flowering again. You can see uh, I've got the hangers on these, uh, they're all hung up at, at the high point of the greenhouse for a bit of warmth and a bit of light. Well, that's about all again for this short video. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, showing you some blooms when they arrive. So, thanks for watching, and until next time. I'll see you later. Bye.